makeup look but i did record it and i did want to post it and it's not a voiceover so y'all get to see like how scattered brain i really am um so i don't know how long this video is going to be but it's probably going to be kind of long because i kind of talk a lot so if you would like to see how i got this look then keep watching all right so i already have my brows on as you can see if you want to see how i do my brows i'll have a video already up on how i do it i'll try to link it somewhere i think it's here i think it's here i don't know um i had an epiphany Okay, I think I'm gonna do this one all over my lid. This screen right here, and this is a Morphe M167. Like, look at that pigment. Like, that pigment is amazing. And I'm going to bring this up until probably like in my crease, right up under my crease. Until I'm happy with the shape that I get. Oh my god, no! With that same color, I'm just going to use that brush and I'm going to just lightly blend the edges. Okay, we're going to kick it up a inch. So I think I want to blend it out with this green hair, but I'm scared because what if it doesn't look right? This is the green we have on our lids. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So that's that. I'm going to go back in with this dark green right here. The, the main color we have on our lid. And I'm going to just like touch up that like crease shadow. I almost want to put something darker in there. Okay, so let's do this one with the same brush this one is dark so be careful like that's it that's all i'm gonna put in there so fast i'm thinking about the things we used to be can you even tell it's blended i feel like you can tell it's blended i promise it's blended okay i might regret this but i kind of want to put some black in it this black you know what i think i want to do with like a very detailed brush so this little baby okay so now i think i want to do like a little shadow wing just enough can y'all see it i don't even know if y'all can see it it's a it's a shame you see me you see the squat it's a game okay so i don't have that it's okay if i'm not even it's okay i can fix that make your ex want to get it back put a bitch in the back Now I'm gonna take my green and get some chicken instead. You see who went in? You see who got it? What the hell? Understand? Okay. I'm pretty happy with this eyeshadow. So for the face. Okay, for primer, I'm going to use the Derma Blend Matte Makeup Primer and Pore Saver. It's really good. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation, Liquid Foundation, and Hazelnut. It's my bottle is so messy. And then this is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation in 4.05 Skin Tone Dark. This one has Undertone Warm Peach. And it's probably not gonna look like my color, but just give it time. I promise. 
get better. Now that that's on, next up is concealer. I love my shape tape. This is in Tan Sand. This is my e.l.f. camouflage sponge. And I love this sponge. Cute! So that's that. This is my second time setting my concealer with this powder. This powder used to be too dark for me. Now that I'm nice and tan, it works as a baking powder. So, I'm trying not to go too ham with this stuff. But I'm like really heavy handed when it comes to baking or to like setting the under eye. Oh, I love this song. Honeymoon, Ave ha Honeymoon Avenue by Ariana Grande is one of her best songs ever in life. Oh, it's an oldie but goodie. I love this song. Oh my gosh. I'm doing eyeshadow at the bottom. And I'm taking this color. And it's a little tiny brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of that dark green just to like connect that blend and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this yellow like I'm gonna put it on my brush and then I'm gonna whack it off like that I forgot I had this but this is the Nude Stick Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in Copper Foil. And I believe these you can use pretty much anywhere. Yeah, you can use anywhere. So I'm going to do, I'm going to line my eyes with this. Cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. So freaking cute. Mm, loving this look. Okay, so we're going to pause on the eyes. And we're going to work on the face. I'm going to switch things up a little bit. I'm going to use my Anastasia powder bronzer in mahogany this one does have a little bit of a red undertone but since our eyes are green i'm gonna just use this to like warm up the face so for blush i'm gonna do my favorite blush of all time which is love joy by mac i'm not gonna use a lot because my bronzer is already a little warm I'm going to set my face real quick. Oh, this feels so good. Oh, what a blessing. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. For lashes, I'm going to use these. I got them from Amazon. If I can, I'm pretty sure I can get the link. I'll put it, link them down below. I'll be there just swinging. I'll be there just swinging. I treat you good girl like you're famous. I think I want to do these two. Yeah, those are pretty. This glue is the Kiss Strip Adhesive with Aloe in Black. I love this glue because it's literally black. I think I already showed y'all this before, but like, look. Black. Like, black. It doesn't dry black because it is black. I mean, like, Obviously, it dries black, but you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's so dark, and I love it. I'm going to go in. I'm going to line the outside of my lips with, you know what? Oh, yeah, Conspiracy by Urban Decay. And I want this to be glossy since everything, well, since that is matte. This is the ColourPop Plumping Gloss So Juicy. Oh, my God, my eyelashes. I always forget about my eyelashes. The lashes are on, looking real cute, looking real cute. That's it for the makeup. Let me go do my edges and let me go change my shirt. I hope y'all enjoyed that video it was pretty fun um i usually like always do voiceovers and i was like let's not do a voiceover today so i didn't um so yeah this is the final look if y'all have any questions or any requests 
y'all comment down below follow me on my socials so y'all can keep up with what i'm doing and yeah that's pretty much all i got thanks for watching bye guys